Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the custom shape tool and we're going to learn how to work with it. So what the custom shape tool does is allow you to pick from a group of shapes that Photoshop has preset or you can load in your own custom shapes and you can easily just um, put them onto your newest layer. So the custom shapes tool is where the uh, rectangle or the other shape tools are. So click on it and hold and then come down to the custom shape tool. Now your shape is going to be determined by this part up here at the top where it says shape. And click, go ahead and click on the drop down menu and it'll have a bunch of shapes for you that you can pick from. Now I just have the heart selected right now so all I gotta do is click and drag and it'll drag out a heart for me. If I hold shift it'll constrain it proportionally where the heart is going to be the size that it originally is in the image or up here like the, the exact proportions that it was originally at. So we can go ahead and pick other shapes too if we want. Here's a tree easy enough and then your shapes are determined or the color of your shapes are made by the layers here that you have or the uh, foreground color that you have selected so now my uh, tree is probably going to be blue and that's how you uh, just load up those custom shapes pretty easy now if you just want to have um, regular raster shapes um, ones that you don't need to uh, that you're able to add filters to and things like that um, you can make sure you have to make sure that this right here up in the top left is set to pixels now if you want to shape layers which I haven't gone over yet those are um, if you change it to shape up here it'll create a shape layer for you and I'll go over shape layers in the next tutorial they have a bit more options that I can go over I'm just gonna go back and you can see that when you um, try to like make some of these shapes unproportional and things like that they might have some artifacting um, just like that last shape layer that I had was so we'll go ahead and um, you can mess around with your shapes now if you want to add more shapes just click on this um, gear right here for the tool options and then you can add more and here's the ones that Photoshop already has in here for you so I'll go to animals and then if you can hit OK to replace all the shapes or you can hit append to add it to the end. So I'm going to hit append. And now I've got a couple more animal shapes here. Here I've got the snail. And that's how you do that. Now if you want to load in shapes that you've downloaded off the internet, make sure you download your shapes into your custom shapes folder. Go to the tools and go to load shapes. It, it'll automatically take you to your custom shapes folder. Now I don't have any custom shapes in here because I don't really use it a lot but that's how you would load them in and you just hit OK and then they would it would ask you to re, uh, append or replace what's this right here oh, just a bunch of seeds so there are a couple of other options here we've got our blending mode um, which will show how these will interact with each other so if I put these seeds on top of this the blending of them is going to be different where they are mixing with each other um, then we've got our opacity, which is self-explanatory. It's just going to um, show the opaqueness of what you just put down. So I'll just put this right next to these ones. Good enough. You can see that these ones are darker and are less opaque than, are more opaque than these ones that I just put down that are at 50%. And here's at like 8%. You can definitely see the difference there, more or lighter. Um, and then here's a uh, tool options we've got our you can um, use this by define proportions if you click you can create your custom shape there and if you drag out it's always going to be at the proportions that the image was originally made at so that way you don't have to hold down shift let me put my opacity back up let's clear the board a little bit I'm going into my history I'm just going back to when it was just a regular board let's get off of these seeds and put on something that's easier to see like this dog bone here now the rest of our things we've got defined size so it's always going to be the size that it's at and I'm trying to click and drag right now but it's only giving me that so basically if you click and drag it's going to give it at the size that it's already at so if you have like a um, something like a company logo maybe that you like to use a lot you would want to load this into the 
uh, shape layers and then you can use your these different parts here to are these different options here to customize your logo as I would say so we've got the fixed size where you can type it in um, you can type in what 100 pixels by 100 pixels and then when I go to click and drag that's what the 100 by 100 looks like and then we've got our from center I'm gonna go to unconstrained from center and then when I drag out it's gonna drag from the center of where I was or it's going to expand from the center of where I was dragging out instead of the edge so this is what center looks like and I'll show you when it's off this is what it looks like so that's how uh, that works and uh, that's basically all there is for the shape tool oh there's one thing I want to go over um, we've got the anti-alias here and then if I have that unchecked and drag out you can see that the edges are pretty choppy well if you turn that back on the edges will be nice and smooth so that's what that's for so that now this is all I wanted to go over for this and uh, hopefully you guys learn how to use the shape tool pretty well um, load up some things that you're going to use all the time so you can easily just um, add in whatever you're going to use a lot with just one click and it's easy enough so thanks a lot for watching the tutorial and have a good one everyone